right, we got another one, folks. We are headed to North Phoenix. A lady who's got a very lovely garden, lots of water, lots of bunnies, and lots of snakies that like to come visit. Um, and she has a rattlesnake. She lost sight of it, but she thinks it went under this really heavy vegetation that she just uh, doesn't feel comfortable like really looking in there. I am headed that way now, almost there. Hi, how are you? Right in that area. Like right there? Yeah, right in that area. Okay. How big was he? Pretty big. Pretty big? Okay. Okay. I am headed out to Peoria right now to remove a rattlesnake that's in a garage apparently. Same old story, if you watch this channel a lot, you'll know that garages are nice insulated caves for rattlesnakes and when they're left open, they take full advantage of it. Anyway, I got a little bit of a jaunt to get out there. Hopefully it's exciting. Hello, how's it going? Alright, haven't seen it since. Okay. That's easy. Okay. You want to see it? Let it out? I won't let it. I can even uh, you get your phone if you want. <laughs> Hard to see, but it looks like this snake has had a run-in with people before, potentially. It's got like a, a bad eye. face is kind of deformed. It just looks like he's survived an injury before. But it looks like the snake knows what he's doing. Or not. Wrong way, buddy. There you go. No, 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 no. There we go. Deep hole. Stay out of garages. That was easy enough. Nice quick relocation. Man, I'm so glad that thing buzzed me when I was moving stuff around. That's why I always kind of do a perimeter sweep when the snake isn't just immediately there. Because I never know if I'm gonna be just like hacking away at one corner of a garage or a yard and it's just sitting at on the other side just laughing at me. So worked out nicely. Mark and back is available. Maybe something else will come on today. So I was just hacking over there. I'm like sweating bullets. And I saw his tail slither this way. So I think he's over here somewhere. All right, people, what is up? I just pulled up to the address that I have a removal here in Anthem. So we're gonna figure out what kind of snake is hanging out at the front door. I have a sneaking suspicion it's gonna be a rattlesnake, so. people back out here in the desert that guy was actually super friendly and nice but my camera died like halfway through so and now I'm searching for a place to put this snake look at that pack rat nest okay perfect yep. that and she's gonna slither right past that camera she's gonna find her way in 
Oh, look at that little tiny rattle. I didn't even notice that. What a much better place for her. I am pouring sweat. I'm hot. It is hot out here. Apple Watch says 105. And if I don't have another call today, remember, protect your local wildlife. Peace. Him. Look at you can't see anything in there. I was hacking this thing. Sweating my eyeball. Okay. <sighs> Jesus. You had a good spot there. Stay please. Please, 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 please. Beautiful colors. Stay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was a great spot. Oh jeez. Lantanas. Not cool, not cool antennas. Holy, oh my gosh. Whew, I literally got sweat rolling in my eyeball. <laughs> it's nasty, but oh, it's humid out today. Well, she said it went over there. So I, these are very hard to lift. I had to like cut the vines with this. And then I, you know, I can't just step in there. I don't know where he's at. So I had to like clear each area before I could get in there. And then when I was over there, I saw a tail slither this way. But I wasn't too sure where it was. And then I had to hack this one up a little bit and got him. Whew, that was challenging. Got our little friend here. Very gorgeous snake. Like, look how dark it is. Let's get you. I know the shadows are kind of in the way, but darn. That's pretty. Okay. Give me a room for my money. Oops. Really, it was just that uh, lantana that gave me a room for my money. You just kind of hung out and just uh, watched me struggle there, didn't you, bud? That's all right. It was a nice spot. Sure he gets in there. It stays nice and cool for the day. Beautiful. All right, so a few lessons to be learned from this call. One, lantanas are awful. Uh, <laughs> You know, we get a lot of rattlesnakes under lantanas. They're a plant that you can't trim up. They grow out and they're just like a blanket, but instead of being nice and warm, they're just nice and cool underneath of there. That snake was just enjoying the nice, cool, wet dirt under there. And you can walk by that plant all day long and you would have never known that there was a rattlesnake. I was hitting it, hacking it up, and that rattlesnake didn't make a peep. I, was uncertain until I finally saw it slithering uh, away uh, that the snake was even under there. Um, so, and that's another lesson, snakes won't always rattle. I was literally digging all in that plant and it didn't make a peep. Um, so yeah, if you have the option to not have lantanas, that's a good option, don't, don't get lantanas. But yeah, I'm gonna head home and I'm, I'm actually off for a few days, uh, three days. Uh, I haven't took a day off in almost a month. And so I'm ready. I'm going to New Mexico. Actually, I'm gonna go look for some snakes. So the snake journey does not end. Nice cool weather, looking for, for banded rock rattlesnakes. I'm ready. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right. I am headed out to another call and it's actually right by where I was before. So not a big long jaunt. Uh, it looks like there's a rattlesnake in a hose container is what Marissa said. And I mean, it just goes to show rattlesnakes just want to be in your deep, dark, cool places. Sounded weird, but it's not wrong. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm glad I was so close. That's me. And Whoa. what is that by him? He's in the little pipey thing. The rabbits keep opening that up. And I was oh. coming over. I just got home. And I was coming over to shut it. 
but I saw his tail, but I don't know what oh. to buy him. Is he hurt? No, that looks like she's trying to give birth. Oh, good God. Okay. It looks like she's stuck. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, it looks like she wanted to come in here to give birth. Oh, and then she got stuck. Uh, that's a good question. We call them slugs, where there's not actually a baby in there. They're not eggs, uh, they're, they're born live. It's kind of like an unfertilized egg. It's just like a, it's like a little sack and there's nothing in it or anything. And she must've just pushed it out cause she was stuck. So if she didn't get stuck, she was probably gonna hang there and have her babies in there, so. Hey, uh, I just picked up a, a gravid female that is not in good shape. I don't know, I, I feel like she could make it if she had help, but if I release her now, she's not going to. Uh, if you wanna do that, it'd be fine. Okay. Okay, Okay. sounds good, we'll see yep. what happens. All right, all right, bye. Wait. All right, well, some situations are more complicated than others. Um, this one is going to be complicated and hopefully the snake can make it, I just don't know. I don't know if it will. She was so pinched, like she. Oh yeah. So she was. So she had a. Um, she went tried to go into electrical box in that little slit at the uh -huh. opening. Like her babies were like pushed like a tube of toothpaste, and uh -huh. it was like super bulged and pinched. And then that's the slug that was next to her when I got her. Um, okay. And well, then I'll, just, I'll soak her. So unfortunately, that snake didn't make it. What ended up happening is she got stuck in the hole that she was in and she ended up trying to push out some dead eggs, some slugs they're called. They had calcified and they pushed through her body cavity and caused a lot of damage, a lot of bleeding. There was just nothing that could be done to save her when we looked at it. She was euthanized right afterwards, painlessly. Uh, it is a, a bad part of this job. It is with any aspect of animal rescue. Part of saving animals is knowing when it can't be saved. That's what happened here, but I can say it's a relative rare event that we have to do something like that and for every single snake like that there are dozens and dozens more that um, we've either been able to save directly or maybe just convincing somebody to not uh, use a shovel or a gun on a snake that they see while they're hiking so definitely have a lot more successes than failures but those failures always sting so if you just caught yourself feeling sad about a snake that's not something you ever thought you would say or do then keep going you're going down the right path